Yo, what's up guys? So we're here to showcase off a Guildford Orcus deck, which I know it sounds crazy, but Orcus can be thrown in almost everything and it just becomes a lot more viable. But anyways, Guildford the Legend, for those of you guys who don't know, he is a warrior that says that it cannot be special summoned, but when it's normal summon, you get to equip as many equip spell cards from your graveyard as possible to a warrior type monster you control. The goal really is to set up the board for the ability for Guildford just to, again, equip everything. Obviously, turn 1, you can't pull off an FTK, but you can OTK very, very easy in this deck. Uh, with, of course, your Isolde just sending everything to the grave. You also have the Orcus Exceed monster to prevent your cards from being destroyed by battle or by card effect. Uh, we even lose all of the back row here, although there's no follow-up play. But all you really need to do is happen to have the monsters survive so you can just summon this card the next turn. Which, if you happen to have multiple Fog Blades, which we did have, but they got destroyed by Twin Twisters twice. Um, but, nonetheless, here it is, guys. Guildford the Legend. We've got the ability to attack twice, but it does lose 500 attack. We have the Magnum Shield, so it's going to actually increase uh, its uh, attack by its defense, which is actually 2,000. And then we have Mage Power over here, which is going to give it 500 for each spawn trap, which that's going to be 2.5k. Um, and then on top of that, you have Power of the Guardians, which makes it so if it would be destroyed by Battle by Card Effect, you can remove a spell counter set. Also, it does buff it up a bit. And then we have White Veal over here. And while the equipped monster battles, your opponent can't activate any spell or trap until the end of the damage step. So basically, you're good to go. And uh, you're going to be able to OTK your opponent very consistently with this because you have a lot of protection. You have, again, the Orcus Exceed, and basically the Orcus Engine lets you set this up to OTK the following turn because obviously with the Soul you can't do it the first turn. But you could technically do it if your opponent happened to actually go uh, first, and then you go second, and you draw Guildford. That's the way that you'd be able to OTK with it. Uh, but... Again, it's just funny to see Guildford actually being summoned. I'll give you guys a deck profile in case you guys want to try it out. This is more of a fun deck than really anything, but I was really excited to see because when someone sent this in, yo, shout out to my boy Honey Badger for sending this in. But when I saw the title of a Guildford Orcus deck, I was like, what? How is that viable, right? But again, you're kind of doing the same stuff over and over like you would do in most of the Orcus decks. Uh, in this instance, Fog Blade is going to be set. We're going to have double Fog Blade. So you have double Negates over here and you have two monsters over here uh, to kind of help yourself out. And then obviously you have the Field Spell, which can actually boost up your uh, Mage Power even further. So you'd have 3k at that point. Uh, but the other guy over here is going to go ahead and get stopped uh, courtesy of the Fog Blade. But... The thing is, is that sometimes these can linger on board and that can hurt the uh, maximum effectiveness of Guildford, but for the most part, um, once you have like multiple equips, I mean, we have Guildford with 7,000 attack and um, he's able to once again attack twice, uh, it's going to be game, um, really easy. I thought, I thought it was hilarious because the Orca stuff actually helps out this deck quite well. You can see we didn't even use Mali. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the deck profile over here because you do need to happen to have a bunch of equip spells um so what we were doing was uh we were utilizing that uh level six card uh which we'll, we'll go over the deck profile real quick uh to just send those all to the grave but let's go ahead and hop right into it uh it is a cheesy deck I, again at the end of the day i wouldn't say this is going to be something competitive but i just i love seeing guilford here and uh anyways onwards with the deck profile so we got three copies of guilford we've got one copy of the world legacy world scepter or world one tcg and then we have the Orcus Nightmare, two copies of that. Then one uh, Gila Gilancer, and this is just a level 6. Uh, but you can tie special summon it, kind of like a Cyber Dragon. If your opponent controls monsters, you need control no, you can special summon it. And then during each end phase, you have to take 500 damage. But don't worry, because this card is not going to be face up on the field. Anyways, then we have two copies of Mali. It's just basically, like I said before, it's like a soul, then you set up, and then you go for the game next turn. Uh, and, or, or if you happen to have Guildford, you can just instantly tribute, and then, obviously, you just equip everything, <laughs> which I think is funny. Um, but, uh, yeah, next up, we have two copies of the uh, Harp Horror. Uh, we have three copies of Vion. We have three copies of the Neo Space Connector to get rid of the Hand Traps. I also think Called by the Grave would be an excellent card to add into this uh, deck. Um, then we have uh, three copies of the Butter Spray, two copies of the Symbol Skeleton, three copies of the Marauding Captain. By the way, uh, just as a heads up, if you see the name, uh, like it says Orphigel, uh, Share Zone, the actual name is Symbol Skeleton in the TCG, it's just they didn't update the image to match. Um, but 
Anyways, three Marauding Captains, three Drunk Forward, and we have uh, Ancient Cloak, the Aqua Dolphin, and the Silent Boots to round off the monsters. And three copies of Instant Fusion, one copy of Reinforcement of the Army, three copies of the Engage, and then we have one copy of Aftermurner, one Hornet, and then we have Power of the Guardians, uh, Twin Swords of Flashing Light Trice. Classic card over here, Axe of Despair. I love seeing this card. Uh, although I would say you probably are better off with United We Stand, but because of the variety that you might need, uh, because with uh, Assault's effect, uh, that's probably why it's there, but this is, this is a really good card back in the day. Uh, and it was also White Veil, which is going to make it so your opponent can't do anything, uh, and you're going to be able to just attack real easy. And then we have United We Stand, Mage Power, the Magnum Shield, the Suiting Star Bow CL, and then of course the Orphagel, uh, or Orchestrated. Uh, Bapple in the TCG. Then we have the Shade, and then we have three copies of the Blade, and then one copy of the uh, Orcus uh, Crescendo, which is like the negate anything. If you can follow up with this, uh, usually the the play will end up with like two to three monsters, and then you'll have uh, multiple uh, negations with, of course, the Blade. If you can draw this, then you have three negates, and then you're pretty much guaranteed to uh, successfully pull off a Guildford the following turn. But uh, anyways, we also need to go over the extra deck over here, which is going to be two, uh, one copy of Ragent, two copies of the uh, Orcus of the Evening Star, and then we have one copy of the Dead Thief, I uh, see then we got uh, Nightmare Unicorn and Phoenix, which is pretty much standard, and then one copy of Rusty, and then three copies of Automation, and then two copies of Soul, one Cerberus, uh, one copy of Kagari, and Mermaid. Basically, it's just stepping stones for, of course, your other cards. But yeah, there it is, guys. A Guildford the Legend deck in 2019, utilizing the new Orcus cards to pull it off. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel here, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more crazy Yu-Gi-Oh decks like the Guildford Orcus deck. And if you guys got any cool replays, feel free to send it to HNIZREPLAYS at gmail.com. But thanks for watching, and peace.